Hello, peeps, pips, and peoples. So I decided to draw a picture of a little owl. Just, just, just a little a little guy. It's a little guy. What, what can I say? He's cute. He's fluffy. So I start off with these big, giant, I almost called them anime eyes. That's just how owl's eyes look. And you, <laughs> if you're new to this channel, I ramble a lot. Anywho, so I'm, draw I'm drawing this cute guy. I do wish I kept his original, like, long boy shape. He, he becomes a chubby boy. It's still cute, but it's, yeah, it's just different. Like, I don't know. He's like, he's, he's a little too fluffed out. Like, have you seen an owl without feathers, by the way? They look, they look like strange, skinny aliens. Anywho, but, uh, here, I guess, I don't know. I guess owls look like aliens either way. Like, they're just scrungly. They're scrungly little guys. They're cute little scrungles. So, um, here I am drawing, like, okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm, I, I don't know, I'm trying out a new brush. It kind of layers a bit weird, so if it's gonna take me, it takes me a hot second to figure out how I'm gonna work with it. I decided to go on these little tiny, tiny strokes all over the place, and I included no blending except for the background, which I'll have later. But yeah, I don't know, I think the cute, I think the little thin guys work really well, because it has the vibe of being very small feathers. It had a lot of very long feathers on its forehead and in between its eyes. Besides that, I'm just little tiny things. And so I'm basically go here I'm basically filling out the basic colors. Later I'll go back in with more shading. Um I added some dots going in the middle of its forehead. Not because my reference photo had that, but because it had so the feathers were going together, which created a shadow in between the feathers, in between the fit in the middle of the face. And I I didn't know how to do that. So I just decided to make a bunch of dots to like represent shadows in between the face. But also, it, I didn't make it a straight line, so it's whatever. <laughs> it, 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 his head's a little crooked, but we still stand. Mr. Scrungles, we still stand you. Um, another thing I like about this brush is, like, the different strokes always come out to be, like, a little bit different in color. And while it's usually not my thing, because I tend to paint people who have very even skin tones... This worked out very well for this because it's it's a bird. It's burb. Like, I needed it. I, I think, I don't know. While it's not anything I would have um, tried intentionally changing the colors back and forth, I do like the effect a lot. And I decided to keep it in the end. Because, like, I don't know, I think it gives more of a variation look in the feathers. And then here I am trying to adjust this little janky lopsided head. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm trying to layer the feathers here, but I'm not quite sure how to do that because like on, like they have like a, a ring around its face that was like orange, but it was like orange, white, orange, white, orange, right. Of like layers of feathers. I didn't know how to do that either. <laughs> so I, I don't. And then I am trying to add in like some of the patterns of the feathers for its shadowed area okay don't thought do owls ha owls have like flat faces right i think that's a thing i think that's a thing i'm not entirely sure i don't know how owl anatomy works but i know that they look like cute scrungles and that's all that matters and then i also tried to keep track of feather direction because i know like on human hair like hair direction is important it's not like your hair is like scribbled sheets 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 i don't know what i'm talking about of like lines your hair has direction it has movement and motion to it and feathers also have movement and motion to it i think <laughs> and so i added this smudgy look in sky and because of that that means i can go around the head with a lighter shade and so i'm doing that giving him a little mohawk not a mohawk a little buzz cut there we go a little buzz cut bird and yeah so now I'm just going in with that. Some details around the face. And then I'm not... In, at this point, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the shading. It looks very abrupt. You know, like, it looks like there was... It, rather than looking like shading, it looks like it had darker feathers. Which wasn't really what I was going for. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add some darker colors and add some more white to the brighter areas. 
And then I'm going to like the orangey ring around its face and I'm adding a darker version of it. Because obviously that's not going to be the, the whole color all the way around. It's not going to be all even. Um, and then now I'm basically making a lot of the feathers denser than they were before. I think this is the closest I've ever got to actually stippling. It's not stippling, but it's close enough. These little thin brush strokes. Is stippling? Can you do stippling with a brush? Or is it always with a pen? I have no idea. And then later on, in a few seconds, I'll go to the layer underneath this one. And I'll add a dark wash. Because I decided that having a cream background for the drawing itself was too bright in some areas and too saturated. Like, I feel like this owl was supposed to look like it was protruding onto the left side of the camera and instead it's just like, I am a circle. I feel like this owl, I, if I had to name it, it looks like his name would be Donatello. I don't know why. He feels like a Donatello. Where's a Donatello? I have no idea. I just realized I've been covering up this mic half the time with my blanket. Let's hope the audio works out. Anywho, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have been lovely. Bye-bye!